Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as promised, I am going to be doing that pastel look today and I am so excited for this look because it has just been trending and it looks so stunning. Um, I saw it on Laura Lee's IGTV video and I really thought it was just such a beautiful look that she created on her niece, Erin. And so yeah, we are going to recreate that look and I really do think that Morphe brushes kind of just help promote that pastel color looks because they just came out with a collaboration. And they collaborated with this beauty influencer named Pony Park. Basically, the whole palette is just pastel. It is called the 35i IC. Um, it's the Fantasy Artistry palette. And I don't have that today, but I am going to be kind of just compromising um, with some of my other palettes. Compromising? Is that the right word? substituting i guess you can say i have these two palettes right here this is the nyx ultimate palette in the shade bright and this is the mini controversy and i'm also going to be using the james charles palette to create this look so if you want to see how this look turns out well then keep on watching so i already have my whole face and my brows done just so that way we can quickly get started with the eyes and so to start with the eyes i'm going to be going in with the morphe and james charles palette um, I'm going to be diving into this really light pink shade. I don't know what the shade name is because I did tell you guys in another video that I had lost um, the color guide. So um, I'm going to be putting it on the side so you guys can know. But yeah, I'm just going to be going in with this super light pink pastel shade. Really pretty color. Um, perfect color for Valentine's Day as well. I am so happy we are already in February guys because I don't know why but January felt like forever. So I'm going to be taking my Morphe M518 brush and it's just a really nice brush that is kind of um, fluffier on the top part, more wider. We're going to be diving into that pink shade like I said. I'm going to be using the small mirror so I can see and I'm going to be tapping that pink shade. Alrighty, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see um, the pink shade right here. The lighting's kind of really bad. Bear with me. And we're going to do this eye as well. And I might dive into this dark pink shade right here kind of just mixing it with the other pink just to give it a little more color i only tapped twice into that shade okay yeah that is a kind of a better pigment and shade that shows a little bit more than just the other shade by itself so i'm going to be doing that on the other eye as well so this is how it looks zoomed out really nice and a really cute shade i really like it i'm gonna go back and refer to the video that laura lee posted just so i can use her as a guide so next she goes in with a purple shade so we're gonna be doing the same thing and i'm gonna be using my jeffree star mini controversy palette and use this shade right here which is called exposed just a really nice light purple shade and we're just gonna tap that on as well as i'm packing on the shade the colors are already kind of just naturally blend together themselves because i'm kind of overlaying the purple on top of the pink a little bit so it's kind of already blending already but we still will blend out in the end but for now we're just packing on and it looks really nice so far I am liking how it looks. And then I know she goes in with like either a very light teal or like a turquoise shade. So I'm going to be grabbing that NYX palette and going into this shade right here. Um, they don't have shade names, but yeah, it's just this one right here. So this is how it looks zoomed in so far. We are going to definitely blend out. So to blend out, I'm going to be going back in with that teal shade. And kind of just doing swirlies. I'm using the same brush, you guys. I'm not switching anything. Um, I don't think it's necessary. I think you're just good with one brush. And that's it. 
and when I'm blending I'm kind of dragging it out as well just so it can create a little wing kind of thing and now that it's blended I'm gonna go ahead and pack on that blue shade a little bit more just so we can bring back a little bit of that pigment there we go so as you can see the difference this is kind of giving a little more effect to the eye compared to this where I don't wing it out yet and I think it just complements the eye a little bit more kind of just um, drags out the eye as well um, because here we didn't really do anything and we haven't even blended out here yet now for that purple shade in the middle I'm gonna be going back in with this shade right here which is called exposed and then I'm also gonna go in with this shade very little to kind of bring in a little more of that purple shade and this is called controversy and just like that pink shade I'm tapping in like once or twice just so I can get that purple shade and now for that pink shade I dipped in a little bit in that hot pink again and I'm just kind of really blending it out on the inner part of my eye so I went in right now with this purple shade from the James Charles palette and this is how it looks kind of just zoomed out in a larger scale perspective I think it looks so cool um, I'm gonna finish this eye off camera really quick and then we'll be right back to finish off the eyes alrighty guys so both of the eyes are done um, kind of just with the colors and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of effect to the eyes by using some glitter and don't worry about glue or anything because I'm not gonna use any but for now I'm just gonna be grabbing this flat brush I'm gonna use this shadow from Wink Cosmetics and I'm just dipping that flat brush on there and I want to spray a little bit of Mario Badescu spray just so it can have a little bit of cling and I'm just tapping very little onto my lid to spread the glitter around on my lids okay so now that the glitter is on I'm gonna be going in with the elf liquid eyeliner and I always use this I know Lardy did not use this but I'm gonna be going ahead and adding a wing to it that's what's just so awesome about makeup you can get inspired by someone and then kind of just add your own little twist to it I don't think it was focusing on my eye but this is how one wing looks like we're gonna do the other one right now So these are the eyes with liner and I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this NYX white liner I know it's super dirty and so for the eyes for the white eyeliner I'm gonna put them I don't know I'm gonna try it let's see if it comes out good it's just an idea hopefully it comes out good because then <sighs> that would be a lot of work trying to take it off and then putting on the eyeshadow again but I'm gonna pro like try putting little dots on the inner part of my eye because Laura Lee put like rhinestones or whatever but I don't have that so I'm just gonna put like white dots and see I don't know how to feel about it uh, we're gonna keep doing it I think we're gonna do three dots so we're gonna <laughs> spray the eyeliner again Ooh. Now you can see the dots. One more. And I also kind of just want to trace the outer part of my eye. Wow, that looks cute. Pretty obsessed with how it looks. And now we're gonna do the other eye. I think it's just so cool that we did like these little effects. I am probably gonna put a dot right here or something. 
I don't know, I'm still thinking. Or maybe, I don't know. Okay, we'll see. But I wanna do the other eye off of camera. Alrighty, so these are the completed eyes. This was honestly as best as it was gonna get. And I am just so obsessed with how the white kind of just adds this certain component to the eye. And it brings like this cool dynamic to it. So yeah, um, I'm gonna also add a white dot on my under eye. But we are gonna do the lower lash line eyeshadow as well. So I'm gonna do that first and then add the white dots. And then we'll put on some lashes, some lipstick, finish up the rest of our face, and we'll be ready to go. We're gonna wipe off that excess um, product that we had um, by wiping away the powder. The powder just absorbs all that excess product, which is awesome. So I don't have to worry about touching up my foundation or anything like that. And for the lower lash line, I am gonna be going in with the mini controversy going in with this shade called exposed i'm kind of just tapping that on i do think that we should make a darker purple so i want to go in with controversy which is that darker purple in the palette not getting a lot kind of just getting the slightest amount of it and this was controversy that dark purple that i told you guys about and I chose the purple since purple was in that middle color and also Laura Lee did do it and I thought it looked really cool since she brought out that purple a little bit more but since that one's just in the middle so this is how it looks I am gonna add a little bit of glitter onto that white dot so I'm gonna be grabbing my morphe m213 brush just a really small smudger brush and it's perfect for the inner corner of the eyes and also just underneath your brow bone those small places where a larger brush will kind of be a little more difficult I sprayed it with setting spray and I'm just gonna overlay that on top I feel like it's missing something so since I think it's missing like a little something I'm gonna kind of go in with black on my waterline um, this shade right here is not fully black it's kind of like an off black this shade is called rowdy and this is from the subculture palette and I'm gonna place that on my waterline And I kind of wanted to match like what's on the bottom to like on the top so we do have like that hint of white eyeliner on the bottom we have the purple and we also have the black liner okay so these are the completed eyes finally but I'm gonna kind of put the lashes on hold and get started with the rest of my face just because I put that on pause when I was doing my eyes sorry I keep looking at like the little screen that my camera has and I'm not looking at the lens I need to stop doing that I don't know why it's just like okay I'm looking at myself so I think like I want to see what I'm doing but no I should be looking at the lens but it's because I see myself and I get distracted I'll try to stop I'm sorry you guys but um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and dive into some bronzer I don't know why but this look is kind of giving me like alien vibes or like that girl from the Avengers well not Avengers but she's from guardians of the galaxy she's that like alien like i don't know her name but she's giving me those like i'm getting those vibes from this makeup <laughs> so i'm gonna be going in with the anastasia beverly hills powder contour kit from light to medium nothing new you guys so i am like <laughs> addicted to tiktok you guys you know how in those videos they say like the levels of addiction so first you download it as a joke and you don't have an account or anything you just watch the videos and then you want to start liking the videos so you create an account and so that's what I did and then I just can't stop watching videos so then I wanted to make some because I thought it was fun and I started making some and I've been saving so many videos I literally have like 500 drafts, you guys. I'm not even joking. 537 drafts, you guys. Like, are you kidding me? I am, like, I wish I was such a good dancer, like Charlie D'Amelio or something like that, but <laughs> I can't dance that well. 
I mean, I was a cheerleader, so like I kind of know how to dance a little bit. But like with moving my hips and everything, oh my gosh, that is so hard. I am not Shakira. So this is one. <gasps> my hair is caught to my necklace. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair back up because I'm working with my face. So I'm just gonna go over with my beauty blender a little bit just to kind of dumb down the bronzer a little bit. And now I'm gonna contour using the same thing but this different shade which is more cool tone. So basically for bronzer, you wanna use more of a warm tone shade. And for contour, you wanna use that cool tone shade just so it can sculpt better. TikTok point was why I brought up TikTok was because I have the ABC song from Jackson 5 stuck in my head because I saw a video of Charlie D'Amelio do it like a thousand times. Um, she posts like constant videos of like the same thing, but I mean, they're really good. So I watch them and I try to do it, but it doesn't come out the same. So I just save them in my drafts. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with some blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian play blush in the shade peaceful i sound like a broken record you guys i'm sorry i literally always use this blush and probably like the same bronzer well not really because in the last video i used the physician's formula one but i mean i still like alternate between the two so it's the same thing but i want to try new products but i'm scared because my skin is so sensitive and reacts to everything it's so annoying so I really like just to stick with like what I know. I don't want my skin to have any like reaction. Like the foundation that I'm using, which is this one, the L'Oreal, Infallible. This is the only foundation that I have. So I've been just using this one and waiting till I run out to get another one. But my skin doesn't like this foundation. My skin likes the MAC foundation that's the, I forgot what it's called. The match master before I never broke out when I used that foundation but when I started using others like the Too Faced and that one and I think I had another one my skin was like going through it and it still is but I mean it's clearing up oh it was also the Fenty Beauty that also made my skin really bad but I know the Dior Air Flash and also the Mac match master those were two really good foundations that I used all the time and they didn't affect my skin at all. Just because they affect my skin in some sort of way doesn't mean that they're going to affect yours. I mean, everyone has different skin and every skin reacts differently. So now I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Extra. And this is just such an amazing highlighter. I've already used it once and it's so blinding. But I mean... You guys, it's Jacqueline. I cannot expect less. She, I love her. Like her makeup always looks so bomb, She's so beautiful. And I love how she does makeup. I am such a huge fan. I started watching her, like she was one of the first people that I started watching. And I became obsessed because just because like her videos are just so awesome. Like the way she does her makeup and just her attitude. She has such a good and positive attitude and she's so like, I don't know, sassy as well. So I'm gonna be using my Morphe M510 brush. I love how it applies on the skin. Like it looks kind of just like it's from within, you know? Like it's not something that's kind of has texture or anything or you could see like the little bumps of highlight there and it just kind of makes it look like a sleek highlighter you know like very blended in so now that everything's laid on i am gonna go finally do lashes and the lashes that I'm going to be using are the Ardell Fox Mink Lashes in the style 817. And the mascara that I'm going to be using is this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara in the shade Blackest Black. Just a super amazing mascara that I always use. This is the waterproof one, so it's kind of hard to take off.
eyelash on and I need the other eyelash. I'm gonna do that one off of camera just so we can save a little bit more time. Okay guys, so after like forever, the lashes are officially on. Now we're gonna do a lip color. I don't know what lipstick we should do. So in Laura Lee's video, I know she keeps it glossy and just adds a little bit of gloss to Erin's lips. But I'm gonna be taking this Aquaphor first, kind of just to moisturize my lips. And this really does help with the dryness. I used to have like really dry and chapped lips. I mean, I still do, but um, this really helps prevent that and kind of just moisturizes them really nice. And it's just a really good base if you want to add some lipstick on um, later or like matte lipstick because with matte lipstick, my lips usually get so chapped with that and they don't work. Sorry, I'm looking at the screen again. I think I'm gonna go in with this Giovanni lipstick. It's just a really nice nude lipstick, but this is how it looks. And when you take it out, this is the lipstick, just very on the natural side. So now I'm gonna kind of just set my makeup and press in all the product. These were the completed eyes. And I'm honestly so surprised that it actually came out good. I was a little bit scared just because I had never tried to look like this before or anything like that but I mean it came out really good and I'm so happy that it did and I was kind of a little scared about the white eyeliner dots but they actually came out good as well and I really like the glitter on the lid as well it just gives it another added touch to it so yeah you guys this is just another really good look I don't know it's giving me Coachella vibes too now um, it's giving me so many different kind of vibes, <laughs> but yeah, this is um, probably a good look for Coachella as well. At Coachella, they always do really just creative makeup looks, and I think they're just so awesome. So this one could be added to your list, you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And so yeah, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye! Yeah, yeah.